We got some brand new Horizon Forbidden West details from Guerrilla Games. And remember that co-op rumor from before the announcement. Well, someone on Reddit now got a very interesting theory about that. We also learned about the release date for the PC version and some awesome features that could totally make their way to the PS5 game too. So there's a ton to discuss. A like on the video would be super appreciated. And let's go. There is a July giveaway for a 2020 game of your choice on your platform of choice. Just click the link in the pinned comment if you want to participate. And be sure you are a subscriber of the channel as well before you enter. And good luck. Say hello to the Bristlebacks. The boar-like machines that we saw in the trailer. And Gorilla now notes on Twitter that instead of fleeing... They become highly aggressive when threatened, using their tusk to great effect. Not a surprise, almost every machine in Horizon is aggressive and we of course saw the new tribe override them, likely making them more powerful by adding some components later on, so we can likely encounter them as war machines of this tribe but also encounter them in the wild. We see the Bristleback here too in the awesome art, not overridden. And there we also see the Raptor-like machine that functions as a mount for this character. We touched on the machines in my previous video because they were added to the more extended key art. And I changed my Twitter profile picture by the way as well to share some love for the Raptor machine. We still don't know the name, although that might change soon. And I will talk about that a little later in the video. But overall, it's awesome that we're moving away from the only horse-like mounts of the first game. I remember this fan art from Sendar with Aloy on a sawtooth and then I immediately was like, I want this, although I would take the new Raptor machine over this for sure. I'm sure there will be more mounts in the Forbidden West so Aloy can finally switch out that charger from the trailer. Who do we see on the back of this machine? I don't think we've seen this character before but please correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down below. Matthijs de Jonge, the game director, in a short video talked about how we will meet hostile new tribes in the Forbidden West like the guys we saw at the end on the back of the Tremor Tusk. But that there would also be peaceful tribes and maybe she is part of this tribe. Although I still think that they look very much like the Utaru from the main game. Looking at the art from Luke Dahan, like we see many similarities even with the things they got on their back. Another character we see in this art and actually seems to be the main character of the new comic they are about to do is Talana. You likely remember her and I mentioned her many times before in previous videos. She's the Sunhawk of the Hunter's Lodge after you cleared the Red Maw side mission. Well, seems like she plays a big role in this sequel as well. And maybe even a bigger role than we first expected. We got Mad Cat on Reddit with a pretty crazy theory saying that what if Talana was player 2 in this game. Early concept footage as shared in the Horizon Zero Dawn documentary by Noclip already showed a second player. Like they wanted to do co-op in Horizon Zero Dawn, but did not do it because it would drop the detail of the game by half. But yeah, that was on old hardware. Now Horizon Forbidden West will be exclusive to the PlayStation 5. Before the announcement of Horizon Forbidden West, Video Game Chronicle put out this big rumor saying that Guerrilla is planning a Horizon Zero Dawn trilogy and that the next-gen sequel indicates a gigantic scope and a co-op mode. Well, we already know that the world is going to be bigger than Horizon Zero Dawn, and the large landscapes that we saw in the trailer already indicated that too. And Video Game Chronicle had many rumors correct in the past. And we still have Simon LaRouche, who is the game director at Guerrilla Games, as we see in his Twitter bio. But for what game? Like, it's not Forbidden West. He recently said on Twitter that he will pass along the well-deserved praises to Richard Out and his team, and that he has nothing to do with any of this. Aside from seeing Richard out in a Zoom call last week. Sure, it could be a shooter as well. Simon worked on Rainbow Six Siege before going back to Guerrilla Games. And Guerrilla, of course, also worked on Killzone for a long time. But as we discussed before, it's more likely that they're making a co-op mode in the world of Horizon instead. People with knowledge of the game also indicated the inclusion of a co-op feature, although it's not clear if this delivered via the main story 
or a separate mode, Video Game Chronicle reports. I totally think that Horizon Forbidden West will be a great single player game if you choose to play that way, but with them pushing Talana so much, I can totally see a world where we get to control her too. They just revealed the art for the third comic that will be coming where we just see Talana and also on cover 2 we see her with a storm bird. And only the first cover really had Aloy coming out on July 22nd by the way so super soon. And it will take place after the main game but likely before the Forbidden West or maybe we see Talana's perspective because Aloy her trusted friend disappears likely in the first comic so then we see how Talana is kind of surviving on her own. And by the way also interesting about that first comic because one of the alternative covers already showcased the Raptor machine so they will likely encounter it during the story and then that might reveal the name and some other characteristics about the machine. And of course I'm more than curious to hear your take on the whole Talana being the second playable character especially with them like really focusing on her in the comic books. I mean, it would be weird if we had like two Aloys running around, right? So give Talana a focus and a spear and then she could also override machine and is basically similar to Aloy. And speaking of the focus, the merchandise store Insert Coin is teasing some Horizon Forbidden West merchandise that will be revealed on Friday. I'm ready, not sure about my wallet. And we now also have footage of the PC version of the game that is coming on August 7th already. And the tweaks and sort of improvements could totally be an indication of what we might expect in the Forbidden West. And by the way, like very soon after they announced the date and price, it became the best selling game on Steam. And it now surpassed the Death Stranding even. It was already on sale for a way longer time and is now in the top 3 of most pre-ordered games on Steam. Pretty huge, so yes, more PS4 exclusives will totally be coming to PC. And they really added some awesome PC enhancements, ultra-wide support, controller options and also the biggest one in my opinion, unlocked frame rates. So going from the 30 that the PS4 was stuck on to 120 if you got the rig. And that's already enough for me to go back and replay the game on PC because I totally think that that will change the gameplay up quite a lot. But you can change way more resolution, render skill, just the overall quality of the graphics. Like the amount of options that we see here will not be needed on the PlayStation 5 but I totally think this implies that the frames per second will be higher than 30 in the Forbidden West. As I discussed in my previous video, Matthijs de Jonge already confirmed almost non-existing load times and just way more detail in the world. And we also have Digital Foundry going in depth on some of the improvements they noticed in the Decima engine of the game compared to Horizon Zero Dawn. And I will link to their video in the video description. One of the things they notice is how Voliage now is way more reactive and moves around way more than in the original. They also talk about how in Horizon Zero Dawn things that would happen in the distance were like of a lower quality. While we see that in the Forbidden West trailer like the large landscapes have amazing quality overall and also when looking in the distance. They are not sure though if we're looking at like real in-game footage or if these are cutscenes thanks to the unrealistic light but as I said before Gorilla is overall just weird with their trailers like showcasing things that are not really going on in the game I always go back to the multiple tall necks that Aloy is looking at here again the video from Digital Foundry is really awesome huge technical analysis if you are into that video link in the description. And I by the way expect a new trailer relatively soon. On July 23rd Xbox will hold their next gen event as was just announced and as already rumored before and actually reconfirmed now again by Tom Phillips from Eurogamer is that Sony will fire back with a state of play relatively soon after this Xbox event. So likely in early August. And I totally expect Horizon Forbidden West to be there again. I can't wait, like don't get me wrong, I really liked the Forbidden West trailer but I now want to see more action, like what does it look like to fight those new machines and what new tools do we have to take them out. 
I'm not sure if we will already see that though as that is something that Sony usually shows closer to the release. But we will see, like it would create hype for the PlayStation 5 and that's of course what they're trying to do here. Anything would be awesome at this point and when we know more I will of course let you know here on the channel. So totally subscribe for everything on Horizon Forbidden West. A like on the video would be super appreciated. And totally check out my previous video going over some new screenshots and some other new info. For now though I will speak to you next time and goodbye.